Welcome first grade friends. It's Monday. I'm so happy to see you all today. We are going to take a little bit of a different turn for the rest of the school year. We have learned all of the new concepts that we're going to be learning in first grade, but there were so many of them. So for the rest of the year, you're going to need your first grade reading fluency packet, your book, that big, the book that I made for you. And then we're going to be reviewing concepts. We've learned so many this year. So we will learn, we are going to review the first grade phonic skills and you're going to show your learning by reading and decoding. Okay, so let's talk about why do we read? We read with a purpose and we also read a certain way. And we're gonna start practicing that. Now, I know you're all really great readers and you've shown me some great reading, but I wanna talk about what we read with. We read with fluency. What is fluency? What does that word mean? It means to read smoothly. We want to read the way we speak. We don't want to read choppy. We don't want to read too slow. And we also don't want to read too fast. All of those things um, are important to our reading, to reading and comprehending. So the first thing we do is we read with fluency. We also want to read with accuracy. What does accuracy mean? We want to read the words correctly. So good readers go back and self-correct. They're constantly paying attention to what the words are saying and did the words make sense. We also read with expression. Um, we, that means we read with feeling. Our voice goes up, it might go down, sometimes it's slower, sometimes it's faster. And why do we do all of this? Well, we do it to read for meaning. In order to comprehend or to remember what we read, we need to have the right amount of fluency with good accuracy and good comprehension or good expression. And all of that is working on our reading comprehension, which is reading for meaning. So the last few weeks of school, um, we're going to be looking at the different phonics patterns, but we're also going to put this all together and continue to talk about fluency, accuracy, and expression. So you're going to need your reading fluency packet and you're going to open up that reading fluency packet to the um, the passage stars. Okay, stars. Do you see that one in there? And we're going to focus on the R controlled patterns that you will find in this passage. So if you can't find that book, you're going to want to make sure that you are able to access the slides or I've taken pictures of the passage. We will be practicing this story, this passage throughout the week. And we will be tracking our words that we read each day and the words that we miss. So we also want to make sure that we're reading the words correctly. The first, um, pattern that we're going to review is AR. Again, this is AR is an R controlled pattern, like in the word stars, and it says R. Okay, let's take a look at some words. These words, um, some of these words you're going to find in your passage. Stars, farther, we also have that ER there, far, there's far, and then we're going to add an ending, farther, car and start. Again, we have that R control pattern. AR says R. The next pattern we're going to review is OR. Now remember, we have learned two sounds for OR. OR, again, R control. OR most commonly says OR but it can also say er. We have two sounds for OR. We wanna make sure we practice both of those sounds. Let's take a look at words from your passage. North, north. Now, this is the word sailors. So here in our first word, it's using the OR sound. And in our next word, sailors, it's using the er sound because it took the word sail, a thing, and made it into a person. And when we do that, 
the spelling rule when you take a thing and make it into a person, you're adding that O-R and that's when it's going to say the er sound. Our next pattern we're going to review again is that R controlled pattern of E-R and E-R says er. Some of our words here, there's that word farther. Now we've got the R controlled pattern at the end. Supernova. Ooh, that's a fun word. Supernova. Energy. Energy. Our next R controlled pattern, okay, is UR. And UR also says er. Let's take a look at some words. Burn. I bet the stars can burn. All right. Let's take a look at our sound cards. You're going to find lots of those patterns. These are all review. Remember what you're going to do is say the sounds on the card. Check it with my sounds. When we have a vowel pattern up there, we want to, to use our hand shape to help us remember. So here we go. Brr. R control. Er. Cur, dur, fur, R control, er, g, er, p, er, R control, or, and, er. Er, sir, R control, R, sure, stir, R control, er, skr, spur. R control or bull cool full R control air gull pull R control Air, soul, spool, ch. All right, grab your whiteboards. Let's practice writing out our sounds. All right, here we are. Ooh, that's a little blurry. There we go. All right, we know one way to make this sound, eyes on me. The sound is R. Repeat the sound. R. Let's write it. A R says R. Good. Erase your board. All right, we know four ways to make this sound. Divide your board into four. The eyes on me. The sound is er. Repeat the sound. Er. Remember, we go from most common to least common. Here we go. E R says er. I R says er. Please make sure you are saying the letters, and when you say the sound. You're drawing the line underneath. You are says er. O are says er. Good. Erase your board. All right. We know three ways to make this sound. Divide your board into three. 
eyes on me. The sound is or. Repeat the sound. Or. Ready? Here we go. O R says or. O R E says or. O A R says or. Good. Erase your boards. All right. Eyes on me. The sound is thr. Repeat the sound. Thr. T H R says thr. Good. Let's do one more. Eyes on me. The sound is sure. Repeat the sound. Sure. S H R says sure. Good. All right. Erase your board. Let's put this all together in our blending board. All right. Here we go. You do it, and then I'll do it. Sharp, sharp. Short, short. Shark, shark. B. Ark, bark. D, ark, dark. B, er, n, burn. Spool orm splorm T -irk, Turk Sk -er -m, skirm. Arf, starf. Sn, orp, snorp. Ch, ert, chert. Sp, ers, spurs. G, R, M, P, Garmp. Spool, Erm, Splurm. All right, here's what you need to do first. Looking at your packet, the story, stars, you need to do what we call a cold read. And you're going to time yourself or have an adult at home time you for one minute. That way someone can help you track the number of words along with um, your errors. So you're gonna do a cold read for one minute. Down here on Monday, mark the number of words that you read in one minute. And if there were any, the number of words that you missed. So you can track um, each day how many more words you gain and how many less words you get wrong after you've done your cold read, over here on your, at the very beginning, you're going to track your progress. So on the very first line here, you can see it says stars. 
So with a blue, we don't, it just needs to be two different colors, but it's called a cold read. So if you have blue, that would be awesome. In that first column, you're gonna mark the number of words that you read in one minute. So if you were able to read 40 words in one minute, you would color from the bottom all the way up to the 40. If you were able to read 20 words, you color from the bottom up to the 20, however many number of words that you were able to read in one minute. We will continue to practice this each day. So you need to bring this packet with you. And then on Friday, we'll do a hot read where you will mark over here in red and we'll be able to see the amount of growth that you made um, throughout the week. All right, so your other assignment for today is that you are going to work on these, this slideshow. The one thing you need to remember when you're doing the slideshow is that you cannot have it in that presentation mode. You need to have it like this. And what you're going to do is you are going to, let me stop sharing for a minute. I need to push this button so that you can hear it. There we go. So you need to make sure that you're in this type of, so you're not in that presentation mode. And you're gonna go up here, see where the little uh, speaker is. You're going to click on the arrow and you're going to hear a word. Heard. Heard. You can listen to it again. Heard. Now, use your pounding and tapping. Heard. 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 And what you're going to do is you're going to now spell it down here on the lines. There's only three sound lines because there are three sounds. But we have to think about how are we going to spell heard? How are you going to get the er? So what you're going to do is you're gonna slide the letters over from over here to spell that word heard. After you have finished all of the slides, you'll go up to the share button and you can reshare it back for me so that I can see how you did on your work. All right, again, you're going to click on, so you go up to the little speaker, you're gonna click on the arrow to hear the word, heard and you can hear it as many times as you need then you're going to drag and drop the letters over to the lines in order to spell the word then when you're finished reshare your presentation with me all right friends we're going to keep practicing that er pattern all week make sure you have that um, make sure you have your reading fluency packet with you all every day this week and I will see you all tomorrow. Keep learning, keep reading. See you all soon. Bye.